Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be sharing with you the absolute must need to know important levels that will be coming into play going into the weekend and the next two weeks to come. Of course, we're coming into a bit of a holiday period with Christmas and New Year. But for me personally, I'm not going to be taking a break. I am going to remain active every day inside of this market to take full advantage of the market conditions. So I'm going to help you inside of this video by preparing you once again with the must need to know levels. As well as that, I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks, tips and tricks for you based off of the knowledge and insights that I've gained over the past now 12 years of trading of how we can actually take full advantage of the market. It does not matter whether we are within a sideways range, whether we're getting large moves to the upside or overall big drops inside of the current bear market. We are here as traders to extract money from this market every day, consistent profitable traders. Doesn't matter the market conditions. All that matters is our technical analysis and being prepared for these levels when they come along. So this video, I'm going to warn you, it's going to be maybe a little bit longer than normal, but you're going to want to pay attention to every single second. Mark out your levels, record it alongside me, get out your notepads for the tips and tricks that I'll be sharing with you. Okay, you are going to be happy at the end of this video that you have paid full attention to it. Okay, I'm actually going to be looking forward to sharing with you the information here. So I want to start off going straight into the action uh, where we pick up where we <laughs> pick up where we left off the last video. Well, if you see this video was now around three, four days ago when I made this video obviously explaining how I was still in that $1.5 million short position. I was still in that trade and I was still overall looking for lower prices to come. If you paid full attention to that video, uh, the one level that we had above us that was absolutely key was the NPOC at 16,975. Below us, we had a few key levels. Of course, the NPOC, POC, 16,500. And that value area low that in the end was the low there, as you can see, marked out at 16,000. $263. And I just want to bring your attention to that value area low. Once again, 16,263 and the NPOC 16,975. Why am I bringing full attention to that value area low 16,263? Because that actually gave us the overall low of the move. As you can see over the coming day, we actually made our way down at 10 p.m. at night, bottomed out to the absolute dollar off of that value area low. It's like I told you all over on Twitter, there is never a random level in the market, never a random level in the market. And we can see that absolutely, you know, in front of your eyes, how we bounce off of that 16.263 to the dollar to give us the absolute low of that move. Okay, I think that's very important to pay full attention to. How, um, you know, sometimes, you know, it's just, for me, it's as a trader, it's just important that you recognize there's never this what some people might refer to as randomness. Now, each high and low is based off of our technical analysis and we can forecast and predict these levels in advance. OK, and so for me, that was something that I wanted to bring your attention to. And of course, once we've got that bounce from that value area low, we've reclaimed that point of control. OK, this is where it pays to have full confidence in your analysis. I, with full confidence, come in and share with my team. Of course, this is for the champions over at chartchampions.com. But I come in and say, you know, I'm looking now for that NPOC. I want to see that NPOC here. Once again, 16,975. A day earlier, I recognized 17K psychological is big. I remembered we have this NPOC. Could time up with some of these highs. OK, I want to see that NPOC here. <laughs> kind of funny when we talk about the dreams here. <laughs> but who likes my trading dreams obviously referring to this post which at 9 a.m in at 8 a.m in the day sorry uh i was posting inside of my group explaining you know this is what i'm looking for next if you don't get the the joke by the way it's because people would say that they have dreams about me every single night <laughs> which kind of was funny but my dream as i said i had a dream this happened i gave this to my team basically explaining i'm looking for a move above 17k hitting that npoc before we get another drop to the downside e.g looking for a slight pullback here then the rise in price then a subsequent another drop to the downside okay that was the prediction that i made and this is where you need full confidence okay i'm not predicting a drop i'm not predicting sideways i'm no i'm predicting the pullback rise and then the drop one prediction given to my team wanted to see the npoc here not only gave the bullishness to see that npoc but then making sure they all understand i'm looking for that rise 
to hit the MPOC just above it, take out 17k, and then the drop to the downside. Okay. And uh, I, I gave this a little bit later over on Twitter, but I just want you to make all, you know, somebody said, okay, Daniel, what's what's happening next? Don't leave us alone. Over back on the 20th of December. Okay. You can see here, uh, you know, gave that to you over on, on Twitter as well. Okay. So if you're not following over on there, it's, it's probably worthwhile. Um, but of course, what happened next? Well, you can kind of see it now in front of your eyes, how that played out. We come up and we did swing failure pattern, that NPOC, really, really nicely. We got the swing failure pattern of the NPOC. That gave us then obviously our short position. And we made our way down back to around that NPOC, that, sorry, that point of control zone. Okay. And, you know, that's what I mean here. This is kind of here you can see at the time. Wasn't too bad of a trading idea. Hey? Price rose to that 17k POC zone for the short trade. And then price brought, dropped back to the point of control zone. You know, and that is obviously take profits secured. Okay, so from this trading setup, the take profit has been secured for me personally of the mini range point of control. And then when we took the subsequent lows, that's a take profit too. OK, so as I told you, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and insights here. So the first thing that I want to make really sure that you understand is once you're marking out these levels, OK, it's all about the confidence of then taking a trade. There's a very big difference between someone that can just do good analysis and then somebody that actually is good at trading. OK, you have to have that confidence. You know, as you see on many of my videos, you know, I'm trading one, two, three, four, five million dollars. OK, you don't get to trade these sizes out of luck. No, it's through, you know, starting with small amounts and over time building it up with much larger sizes. And for me now, I obviously have high confidence in my trades. Why? Well, based off of the factor information that I have from my trading statistics, as well as doing this for a long time and having the experience. And last and most important of all, I have full confidence in my technical analysis. So once I come in here and I post these type of trading ideas, and remember, I have thousands of paying champions looking at my every single move. You know, you've got to have high confidence to give these type of predictions. And with the thousands of champions watching, I come in here and explain exactly what I'm looking at. OK, pull back, rise and drop. And this is what happened. We got that rise and drop exactly as we wanted to see. OK, so we obviously was looking at this, the rise and then the drop. OK, that's what we were looking for. And then it's seen the reaction. The reaction for me was fine. We took out 17K and the MPOC. We then ended with that swing failure pattern like we wanted to see. That is then the executable time to take the short position. I recognize where I can take profit one, which was the mini range point of control. Take profit two, coming down to take these lows. OK, in the end, we bottom out around that point of control before another rise. And you can see earlier today tapping that level once more, by the way, 19 uh, 975. So that level's now been tapped a few times. Okay. But I just want to make this clear that if you want my take profits, ideas, and trading setups before anyone else, then of course, this is only available at chartchampions.com for the champion members. But these are the type of things that you're going to get with inside of the group. Okay. And at the time when I gave that on Twitter for free, I explained that this is the setup that I gave. We were looking, of course, or looking at the time to long here to up to 17k point of control before then the short 17k and of course that played out very nicely okay so with that explained i want to now explain what we are looking for next so just to make this very clear one final time for you just for make sure you're all fully understanding price made its way down hit that value area low come back up reclaim point of control took out 17k psychological on the npoc that gave us then the short position to play it back down to the range point of control, playing it back down towards these lows. In the end, price bottomed out here locally at the point of control zone of the range before making its way up one more time to test that 16.975 level. And of course, has made its way back down where we now remain once more just within this really simple range. OK, deviations, 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 ultimately with inside this really compact range right now. OK, so my tips with inside this bear market are do not be scared to take longs when you see good reactions at key levels, just as you definitely shouldn't be take, scared to take the shorts. Of course, shorts have a higher probability of winning inside of a bear market, right? The key thing here is taking profits. Do not get greedy. Make sure you lock in those take profits. This is something that we obviously teach with inside the live trading streams that we're doing. If you're not if you're not on the live trading streams, make sure you're on them. But, you know, this is something that we pay for, you know, absolute full importance on get in your entry, execute, and then lock in that take profit. Once you've locked in that take profit, you're very happy with whatever happens next. You're guaranteed to have, have made profit with inside the market. 
OK, and now we're going to start to look at where we are now and what I am looking at next. And this is really over the next few weeks to come. Again, we're coming into a holiday period. Many people are going to be taking a break, which is absolutely, absolutely fine. Of course, people are spending it with their friends and family. Of course, I'm going to be doing the same, but nevertheless, I am still going to be actively trading every single day. I won't be taking a full day break. Um, and that's just because I love what I do, to be honest with you. <laughs> and my, my friends and family are absolutely used to it and <laughs> do not mind, to be honest. But um, yeah, I am not going to be taking a break and I am going to be ready and waiting for what's to come. I do think we can get a very nice move over the holiday period with, with the relatively low volume. I do expect, by the way. But nevertheless, we still can absolutely nail on that technical analysis. So I'm going to explain what I'm looking for next over the next few weeks. First of all, I just want to do this really quick announcement once more, and that is obviously we are giving away $100,000 just to remind you, and you can obviously follow this over at chartchampions.com on the homepage. We've given away £5,000 to Action for Children. We've given away £5,000 to Feeding Families. And our latest donation, which was given away yesterday, was actually a surprise one um, to Mike, who replied to us over on Twitter. And he basically... Um, you know, wrote, just responded to our tweet. It was uh, kind of fortunate, I guess, that we saw this. And he responded to our tweet with this. Um, you, you're more than welcome to pause and, and read this. But, you know, he's been in a very unfortunate situation. And, um, I mean, yeah, and I'm not going to read all this out. You, you can, if you would like, you can read it for himself. But basically, somebody's struggling, um, going through the hardships of life, right? And just as we all do, everybody's going to have these hard times. And us at Charge Champions, we've seen this and we've thought, hey, we can do... The, the very least we can do on such an awful situation is to help him out he uh, had been asking for a new fridge freezer and so we decided to buy him a new fridge freezer and look into a chair that he needs so we're going to be uh, donating towards that as well um so yeah this is then our third so we've done action for children feeding families and now we've helped out just uh, mike who's someone that we've never met before uh, but you know obviously he's part of cc pool loves the community and hey we're we're here to help uh, just the Everybody from the small guys to the to the to the to the big, I suppose we're here for everybody. No, uh, no, um, I don't know the right word here. No um, prejudices or anything in that regards. And uh, yeah, this was just a little thing to do to give back to Mike and his family here. And uh, as you can see, unbelievable, grateful for this, Dan. Thank you so much. You know words will never be able to tell you how much this will help my dad when i told him the news he couldn't believe anyone would help him without knowing him in person first just goes to show what a top character you are and i mean yeah i mean for us it's obviously there's this kind of no words to say how proud and happy we are to read these type of comments and to even be in a situation where we can give back where obviously so many people are finding it hard and struggling and you know christmas for many people is is actually the saddest time of the year right and um I and the others at Chart Champions recognize this and this is how and why we are just so proud and happy to be able to give back to those people in need right now. Uh, obviously, we are trading well. We are making money on our trades. So we, we've decided to give that back and we're still on our way of giving away that hundred thousand dollars. So, um, yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, just a shout out there to, to Mike and and yeah, I <laughs> hope you enjoy the fridge freezer and, and uh, that when it arrives for you. So yeah. Um, yeah, I want to now end with talking about what I'm looking at next, okay? And that is particularly a few things that I've got marked on the chart here. I want to add back on, oh, this was the prediction, by the way, which we can now remove. Okay, a few things I want to bring your attention to here is locally, the middle of this higher term time frame parallel channel that I have. The middle of this higher term time frame parallel channel comes in at $17,085. It's a bit of a zone, right? Eighty. $85. But this for me is going to be a key level coming into the next few weeks. Why? Because we have the potential of a swing failure pattern onto the middle of the channel. Okay. So this is the type of thing that I would be looking for in terms of a reactionary trade only. I would not be pre-setting orders here. What I would be looking for is a swing failure pattern or failed auction into the middle of the channel and then coming back down below. Okay, that then gives me another actionable short trade. Why do I say I would not preset an order? Just because we could blast straight through the level. And if we blast straight through the level, we're going to be heading back up to that value area high. So I need to be having an alert set here where I'll be looking for the swing failure pattern or failed auction of the middle of my parallel channel. If I get that, I get an actionable trade. I get a stop loss invalidation. And me as a trader, I love having the invalidation of the stop loss where I can be targeting once again, similar to this, the middle of this point of control 
of the mini range and then actually down to this point of control where I have a very similar scenario just as we can be looking for the highs here I'm going to be looking for a low swing third pattern field auction here onto the point of control okay I know if we get through this level I have the value area high and I know if we get through this point of control there's a few things I'll be looking down towards the daily first of all 16.429 down to well that value area low once more okay so for me, where we are compacting within this environment, we've obviously been going sideways now for a few weeks with inside this overall range. OK, but for me, this is not a time to be scared. This is not a time to be bored. This is not a time to be excited or fearful or any type of that emotions. No, it's the time to have my technical analysis prepared. OK, have these levels marked out, as you can see, marked out days in advance and then when it comes to taking the trade i'm not scared i'm not fearful i'm executing and i'm predicting the market as we can see here exactly as predicted uh as we come up and we got that lovely swing failure pattern in the time and obviously well in the end we made our way down to around that point of control zone so all very nice indeed um so yeah inside of this video i just wanted to really bring your attention to um the tips and tricks which I'm primarily talking about here are even within inside a bear market, even within inside a sideways market within this. we got to have our technical analysis marked out. we got to have our alert set, check the reaction, take the trade. Lock and take profit one is absolutely key. When I take a trade, I love to know my stop loss invalidation. Okay, I love to know where that first take profit one is going to be coming in. Okay, So for me, that's what I'm after. That's the way I trade this market and that's the way I'm able to extract profits even inside of a bear market where many people are losing their minds or even if it's sideways and they're absolutely bored i'm not bored i'm looking forward to what's to come and that's why i'm not going to be taking a day's break to be honest with you i still think i'm going to be making money inside of this market so that's my main goal going into 2023 and um yeah if you want to you know be help and you know have these insights have these sort of setups given to you once again before anybody else this is going to be available via the champions at chartchampions.com so you get all of the insights so you get all of the trades before anybody else in terms of the trading ideas of course we got the live trading so if you want to get in on the live trading here you know you can see how well this is coming along so if you want to be involved in that, then this is something that you can get over at chartchampions.com. Live trading streams, educational live streams, trading updates, getting the ability or, you know, the privilege maybe when you could say to ask questions to some of the best traders in the world right now and have direct responses so you get the questions you get the answers you get the education you get the cheat sheets you get the templates you get the live trading streams and so if you're lacking that confidence if you'd like a little helping hand along the way well you can get that over at chartchampions.com so i'm just going to wrap up by saying that hope you all have if you celebrate a wonderful christmas if you don't happy day nevertheless and uh, an absolute wonderful new year to come. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled on the rest of this $100,000 giveaway. We've now given away to three people and uh, maybe you could be the next. Um, thank you ever so much. If you've enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video as we make them in the time. If you want to see more from us, you know what to do. Chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed. Maybe you can see you got the new microphone. Let me know if the, if the mic quality is better down in the comments below <laughs> um, or if it's too loud or too quiet. Let me know and and uh, hope you have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant time. I'll catch you over in the Discord, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers. And I'll end actually with the legal trade disclaimer. No financial advice in this video. Do your own research and all trades on paper demo trade accounts. Cheers and goodbye.